What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. I'm once again joined by Tyler, and we are back for another video in our Pirates of the Caribbean community series, a community series that airs every other Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time, where we talk about Pirates of the Caribbean content. We've been talking a lot about Pirates of the Caribbean 6 ever since it was leaked uh, that the movie was about to come out. We've done a lot of videos about that, and they've actually done very, very well with you guys, and it seems like you guys have liked it. So we want to continue it with another topic about Jack Sparrow in Pirates 6. Now, we have other topics regarding Jack Sparrow that we're going to save uh, as we get closer to the movie being announced and hopefully when we see a trailer and all that stuff we can talk more about it but for this we want to talk about if Jack Sparrow is going to be the main focus for Pirate 6. Now we've talked a little bit about this in past videos but we want to go back to it and have it as its own topic because I do feel like there's a couple things to mention in terms of if this would be his last movie, how that would impact how they would focus on him in the movie um, so if it is his last movie maybe they'd focus on him more, maybe they'd want to give it to Henry or Karina, uh, maybe if they want to make a Pirate 6 then you, have, then you do have to focus on younger uh, you know cast members so there's a lot of things into it um so Tyler what do you think do you think they would focus on him a lot and what do you think it actually depends on we've we've kind of talked about uh, in the past videos that we do believe this would be his last movie so maybe we want to talk about it if that is in fact the case basing this off the the idea that this is the final parts of the Caribbean movie with Jack Sparrow which it probably is what I think we should really do is look at Pirates of the Caribbean 5 um, and you might you might have been with us when we were talking about um, my Pirates 789 ideas. You might not have. But real quick, basically, when you look at Pirates of the Caribbean 5, they set up the next generation of Pirates movies in Henry and Karina. They will be the ones who take the lead. Um, and then, like, for a third character, they could probably just add a character, whoever, the, whoever it's about, essentially, in those individual movies. Um, they could have either the same supporting cast or even a new supporting cast but that's how they'll totally do it because there's a reason that you know they had will and elizabeth's uh son be the, be one of the main characters but the real main character was barbosa's daughter spoilers not really uh karina and when you look at the traits that they have it they both bring to the table um things that that really make them work well as a it, basically as uh, characters that can carry a movie on their own, without like a Jack uh, Sparrow. Um, and the reason that I'm saying that is because we see that in Pirates of the Caribbean 5, that, you know, it's like, here here are these new characters, they're going to be the future of the franchise. Jack's just kind of, and I've always said this, Jack is the person in the movies that kind of lays the foundation. He creates the path that everybody else goes down in for that story, for that movie. Um, and I think 6 is no different. I really think six will be no different. Um, will it be centered around Jack? I think it'll it'll be more centered around Jack than previous movies, but only slightly. Um, probably the same level as Curse of the Black Pearl. Um, so you know, he and he was he was pretty pretty prominent, but at the same time, it was almost more like about Elizabeth in a way, and sort of Bill Will. So. I do think he would be one of the one of the focuses of the film, but not the main focus. I, I again think it would be Henry and Karina, but it would further establish um, them as the next characters. Whatever takes place in Pirate Six, it will make it you know it will set Henry and Karina on a path that or multiple paths like multiple adventure opportunities. Um, because of what took place, because of what Jack did, because of maybe connections that took place in that movie, maybe because of certain things that Jack says to those individuals, because maybe, you know, Karina's not there for one scene, but Henry's there. So Jack might say something to Henry, uh, Jack might say something to Karina, um, and it's kind of like, okay, it sounds like future plot points or story points. Um, so I can totally see that happening. Um, how the movie would, like, close would totally be, you know, a, a closure type thing for Jack Sparrow. Um, that's when the focus would be on Jack Sparrow for the end, for his finale, for his conclusion of his uh, story arc. If he does, he really have one. That's the question. For the rest of the movie, again, it's it's what he. It'll probably be a culmination of things. From the past movies and probably a you know a past that we don't know about, not based on the books because they'll just change that stuff anyway. So it'll probably be a culmination of that stuff, 
that'll kind of involve everybody. Will, Elizabeth, Henry, Karina, Jack, and the crew. But I I don't know. It, it's kind of a weird thing. Like, if, if I had to give a number, if I were to say Jack versus Will, Elizabeth, Henry, Karina, I give it probably a 70-30, maybe a 60-40. Uh, and the low the low number goes to Jack Sparrow, um, but at the, then at like I said then at the end he gets the full he gets the full um, limelight he gets the whole thing um, probably how they defeat the villain or however they do whatever it's probably all gonna go to Jack Sparrow it'll be probably similar to the heroic stuff that he did um, at the end of Pirates Two Dead Man's Chest um, probably like that level of heroism. But, you know, obviously how they edit, I don't know. Um, but I think they'll do a good job on it. Um, and I, I just, and, and I want to say this, and then I, I want to hear what Alex has to say. But I hope that one, I mean, that we're going to get, we are going to get Pirate 6. Uh, what I'm saying is probably what's going to happen. But I just hope that when we all see it, you know, including you guys, um, that we don't, say to ourselves, like, leaving the movie, like, man, you know, it's Jack Sparrow's last movie, they should have focused on Jack a lot more, because, you know, now he's not going to be there anymore, we really didn't get that much Jack, but then you got to say to yourself, too, don't forget, like I said, he's not the main character, he is, but he's not, like, in all the other movies, he really isn't in it that much, he sets the path for everybody else, um, so I just, I hope that you guys kind of, like, realize that that is, like, what Jack Sparrow does, um, there's, and and Alex is probably going to say, and he's and he's right that they tried this with on Stranger Tides, and it didn't exactly work. Um, so in a way, um, if they don't give him that much, you know, focus in in six, I would I would be happy because if they did, they might not be able to do it. So then, what you should say to yourself is, would I rather have had more Jack but a a worse movie, or would I rather have less Jack? But a very solid ending for Jack and a very good movie. I choose the second option. Um, so I'm curious to see what Alex thinks. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think, like you said, they tried doing that with On Stranger Tides, and they gave it mainly to him, and I didn't think he was bad at all. And that, I think, would be, especially if they go back to the way how he normally acts and not acts in the way of Pirates 5, even if he acts the way he acted in 1 through 4, it would still be a good performance. It would still be a good Jack Sparrow performance. But overall, like you said, it hurts the quality of the movie because you focus so much on him, and yes, he's a good character, and yes, he can act well, but you don't have anything else going on whatsoever. The The background to On Stranger Tides was nothing. Um, whereas compared to in past movies, even Pirates 3, there's so many characters, so many things going on. Jack is not in every scene, and the film overall is way more strong. So I definitely agree with you. I feel like if, the, if you do not have him in it as much, you have a better movie. Because he can still be there. He can still do important things. He can still set up the future for other characters, which you're going to have to do. That's ultimately, you know, if Jerry Bruckheimer had it his way, Pirate 6 would be just Jack Sparrow like in a room and it would just be all him um, because he you know you can't make movies without Jack is what he says but if you want to preserve the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise you need to set up these other characters and the best part is Jack Sparrow can actually help you do that he can like like Tyler said he can give Henry and Karina things to do in the future he can be like a mentor for Henry um, he can still have moments with Will and Elizabeth and they can still be in the movie and ultimately they're gonna have a lot of things to do in a Pirate 6 we talked about all the things that have to do with Pirates 5 when that movie was coming out. They had to introduce Salazar. They had to give Barbosa some time. They had to give Henry and Karina a brand new cast some time. They had a lot to do in Pirates 5, and they would have equally as much to do, if not more, in Pirates 6, along with ending Jack Sparrow's story, like Tyler said. So I, I definitely agree. I think at the end of the day, you can have a great story. You can have Jack in it. He doesn't need to be in it for long, but he can be very, very vitally important, have his moments, have his action scenes, have his comedy, have his personality, and, and ultimately, yes, yes, you do need to have like a really good ending and farewell for him, and that's when he's the center of attention. But other than that, he doesn't need to be the center of attention. I feel like the more the time goes on, the more people are getting more tired of Johnny Depp and not you know not the biggest fan of Jack Sparrow, especially after the last couple movies. So it would actually be wise of them to just try out, well, maybe, you know, did people like Karina? You know, we, we heard from the fan base that Karina was a popular character. Maybe let's give more time to her. They should be listening. They should be listening to what people think. And ultimately, and, and honestly, the way 
that people think is they're not the biggest fans of Jack Sparrow as they once were. And I think that overall helped our argument of trying to get a more rounded experience for a Pirate 6, which is, it's not a bash on Johnny Depp, it's not a bash on Jack Sparrow, but it's what the movie overall needs is a more, you know, rounded plot with him not in it as much, much like Pirates 2 or Pirates 3, and not like Pirates 4, and just a better performance than Pirates 5. Um, so I definitely agree with what Tyler said. And let us know in the comments below, guys, what do you think? Should Jack Sparrow be the focus point of Pirate 6? How do you think they should use his character in the movie? Let us know. Again, these community series videos go out every other Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time. We're going to keep this up. We're just going to keep on going on. Next year, again, as we keep uh, saying every single video, we do intend on you know having a Pirate 6 announcement from D23. So we'll be talking all about that as we continue to get closer. More Pirates videos every other week, and we hope to see you guys there.